Hello, once again, it's your boy Fred. I want to welcome all of, all of you to my YouTube channel. I want to say a big thank you for those of you that have subscribed. And for those of you that are yet to subscribe, please don't forget to subscribe. And as you do that, God is going to definitely bless you in Jesus' name. So today's lectures, we're going to be doing three techniques, three techniques you can use in playing, playing your African bass grooves. So when you are in the church, these three techniques is going to enhance your play and make you sound more spicy and group. Not every time you are just using one technique. Using one technique every time. People is going to get boring. So for you to sound more professional and more exciting, you have to learn this three uh, technique. Most gospel bassist usually plays techniques when playing their praise or African groove things. So um, I'm going to show you the three techniques. So the, and before we do that, let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your love. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your guidance. We say, blessed be your holy name in Jesus' name. Lord, as of our beginning this tutorial, we pray that you guide us and protect us, that you give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that we may grasp what we're about to learn in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your love. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I'll be playing it on now on my it's supposed to be C sharp if you have a standard tuning, but this is uh, my A. According to my my tuning, so this is how I love playing. I love putting my A. In fact, right just behind the C fret, which is the fourth fret of um my guitar. So um so the first technique is your working bass line. Yes, your working bass line. Um, most Ghana bassists usually use the working bass line to model songs, um, African groove, most especially your Makosa High Life and etc. etc. So um, what happens here in your working bass line is all about understanding the chromatic scale. So the working bass line is built on the foundational system of the chromatic scale. So when you know the chromatic scale, you have an edge to understanding how the working bass line works. So it revolves around the, the, the chromatic scale. So the movement is chromatically in nature chromatical in nature and um, and the, the 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 working is progressional in the sense that the the song will have a progression but the the movement will be chromatical in following the progression of the song so if you have a song that starts with your one your four your one, your five, which you saw, your do. So already like this, I'm playing the bass line. I'm playing the bass line. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So now you want to make this a kind of spicy walking bass line. I love my Ghana people for this. They love playing the walking bass line when it comes to this. So if you want to play your walking bass line like this, you just. Uh, So that's just all about the working bass line. Very simple. The 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 more you know how to play your chromatic scale to follow in following progression, that's the, the more melodious you sound. So um, the secret behind this is what I use majorly is a note before the actual notes in the progression. So what do I mean? If I have my do, if I want to play my do, you just use your notes, the note before your do. T do. If I want to go to my re, I use my D re. If I want to go to my mi, I use my re mi. If I want to go to my fa, I use my mi fa. If I want to go to my so, I use my t so. If I want to go to my la, I use my z la. If I want to go to my t, I use my do t. If I want to go to my do, I use my t do. So it's just all about the.
The same thing with the ascending order. In, if you are going down, that's when you use all this one. So if you are going down, it becomes inverse. Don't go to your me, use your far. The same thing, you apply the same pattern going to um, the down. So that's it. So the second, the B part of your working baseline you can use while jamming your praise is your... So I call it a kind of a staccato working baseline. It's short, precise, very precise. So what am I doing? Very simple. I'm just doing a ghost notes, you strike. So if you don't know, if you have not learned about ghost notes, I have my tutorial on it. I did the tutorial, so I'll just put the link on the description below, or you just go straight to my YouTube channel and start the lesson. You're gonna know how to play a ghost note. So it's just very simple, it's staccato. Walking baseline. Very lovely. So, thirdly, the second baseline that I'm going to show you is a kind of a staccato bass. Ah, this is very lovely. So, Coco usually use it, Bismatic usually, Basley usually, in fact, most top basses usually use it when playing their bass. So, it's a kind of, uh, you have a foundational bass like. kind of spice if you use ah it looks very lovely so what am i doing is just simple you have a foundational base like like so that pocket that space that you call it pocket that space you fill it with something staccato like mm, let me use it Celebrate grace, staccato like. So use that thing, that pocket thing. Ba bam bam, there's space. Bam ba bam bam, there's space. Bam ba bam bam, there's space. Bam ba bam bam, there's space. And in that space, you have to be, to be very um, cautious and very timely. And again, you have to have speed in filling up that space. So. Ba -bam -bam. So this technique is all about filling the space of the foundational baseline with a staccato or a ghost note kind of play. Very quick, sharp, fast, precise play. So if there's nothing out about it. And if you want to play this and make it sound more groove, you must learn how to play at this around the side of the, the, the bass. So So that's it about it. So the third baseline is a Saban baseline. Ah, this I usually use it. So when the music is a kind of hot, 
So you apply the thumbing there. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my Congo people. is very 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 powerful mostly when the song is a kind of what you want to make it sound more macocious want to send make it sound more groovy you are you all you just have to do is just to apply your thumbing technique which you will to serve us your kick to the base so mm -hmm. my kick Call it a thumbing technique. All I'm just doing. So if you want to play this and to get this kind of sound, use this this side. You come along this side in the bridge of your in the the um, bridge of your guitar like this. So these are the three techniques. So number one, I said your your walking baseline. Number two, the, the B part of your walking baseline using the staccato kind of move to approach your walking baseline. Number three, I said something building at the, the number two. Sorry, number two, I said um, building around and um, finding pockets after playing your your foundational baseline. You look for a pocket to fill in and the third one I said using your seven kind of move so that will be all for today and I'm going to give you more more techniques and um, you can use on it so God bless you if you have not subscribed once again don't forget to subscribe remain blessed I'm your boyfriend please let's stay in touch God bless you